So this is a quick video to demonstrate how I replaced my active exhaust speakers in my Audi SQ5 8R by TDI 2013. So I'm just showing the video now of showing the system. It's the downpipe through the mid box and then there's two exhaust clamps. Two exhaust clamps so there. Undoing those two exhaust clamps, it. it leaves the ex exhaust rubber exhaust hangers there. two each one, one, one each side. <coughs> back to the back box. There's another there. exhaust hanger for each this tail block. pipe and the speaker. Squeeze the squeeze the back to get it over this nib. So speaker plugs, a little bit fiddly yeah. to undo, but squeeze the plug to get past the nib. That exhaust system came off the car. Next, we cut open the domes and actually cut just above the weld, which I, it was a little bit easier. I learned that off the, the other side. So cut through the metal, open the domes up. Obviously taking your time, try and get a straight cut, helps when it's getting welded back up. The dome lid should come off and leave the speaker attached to the base, but in my instance the screws that are holding the speaker had failed and corroded and the speaker magnet had actually stuck to the lid when it came off, as you'll see later in the video. Once you've finally cut all the way around the dome, you'll then be able to lift the lid off. This will reveal what is left of the speakers. Both my cables had corroded off the terminals. The speakers were both shot, the, but this side was still mounted wire, to the base. Black, black was on the outer edge of the car. As you can see, you can tell because the it's failed. The clamp is still on it. The new speakers Red. actually had two different it's size snapped off clean ferrules. This side, the speaker had completely detached from its from the base. It's ah, all the bolts and corroded. Down. And the magnet of the speaker just stuck to the lid as I lifted it off. Both terminals corroded off. Absolutely. Not the so as you can off. see, the speakers have completely failed. <coughs> we then went about cleaning everything up. There was a lot of water in the base of this speaker. I had noticed for a while I was getting a little bit of rusty water quite regularly. Had a tailpipe. I also repaired the wiring with fresh cable right, crimps. Time to clean up and repair. We ground the screws flat and drilled them out. Clean the domes up. As you can see, these speakers were good for the bin. Right, next, let's get the studs out. Clear the threads for some more cell tappers to remount the new speakers. These are the new Visaton W165A 2 ohm speakers 
as per OEM fitment. And then went to a fabrication company, a friend of a friend who then went about and slowly tig tig the domes back up, taking time, keeping keeping the domes cool to save the speakers. So they were welded back up. You just see the uh, repairs and the cables. They just put some heat shrink on them as well. And here's the fit. Here's the final. Final effects of uh, brand new speakers. Enjoy. This is uh, in the economy mode with no active speakers.